Hi everyone and welcome back. This is another important aspect in React is lazy loading of components. So this is not a new concept. It was exist earlier also, but not native to React. Like lazy loading of component. Uh, when we are writing the React uh, router application, I mean, we are writing a single page application. Then when you, when you click on it, the page is getting replaced. But can we create a separate bundle for each and every component which is getting loaded? so that we don't need to load the whole bundle in single go. So it's lazy loading existing all front-end framework. I will talk about Vue, Angular, React. Earlier we were using Webpack for this kind of uh, dynamic import. So lazy loading exists when you actually dynamically import the modules at the runtime. Okay, so before starting with the lazy loading, this is my repository where you can actually take a look on all the examples I collected. Okay. So currently we are talking about uh, lazy loading. So that should be somewhere here, uh, 14 lazy load. Okay. So I recently uh, created this repository. You can have a look on all the important examples, all the demos, weather app, clone app, YouTube app, GitHub battle app, Netflix clone, okay, shopping cart. All these applications are available here. Okay. Coming back to our topic, lazy loading, right? So why we do lazy loading first of all? Like you are writing complex application which is having separate separate route, home, profile, account, lot of other sections, right? Now, on the launch of the application, you are actually showing login page. In that case, why you wanted to bundle everything inside a single bundle and on the login page, you are loading a, like one and a half MB size of bundle unnecessarily because the output you are getting on the screen is just a login page but you are loading all these components also. So when we introduce lazy loading means these all lazy loaded routes, login, register, reset password, forget password, account, profile, all these routes can have their own separate bundle and they will be loaded from the network traffic when you are actually navigated to login, login bundle will load, register, register component will load, uh, forget password, forget password component will load. Okay. On the launch of the application on the login page, you will not see anything apart from the core libraries and your login component in the bundle. But when you navigate to all these sub child components, then only you will be able to see those components getting loaded through network, right? So that is called code splitting and lazy loading. We are actually dynamically importing those components and we are allowing them to lazy load so that our bundle size is smaller we have divided our whole bundle into split chunks 2020 kb uh, split uh, chunks of each and every pages register 20 kb uh, login 20 kb because we might be writing a lot of components inside them okay so now in react we have this lazy and suspense apis available what we need to do is if we wanted to lazy load any independent components so like i have these two routes home component and another home while launching home component, I don't want it to include the content of another home in the same bundle. Okay, so I can use this. First of all, you need to lazy load both the routes. You can get the lazy from this React itself and suspense API. When whatever the routes you are loading inside, uh, I mean, lazily, whatever the routes you are loading, you have to wrap it inside a suspense APIs. Okay, suspense, you, are, you have to wrap it around and we have to write a fallback. Fallback is doing nothing means if your component is not able to re render due to some error, then it will go to this fallback component. It can be just a simple GSX. So this is a fallback component rendering only home. Okay, so you can say a fallback to default home. Okay, so this is how you do it. Now you can have n number of components which you are writing. Just load them lazily. Another home, one, two, three. So whatever the components and routing you create and you keep adding the routes here based on the path you have. So home one, another home one. And so here it will create those number of chunks. I mean, if you are using create react app, then you will not be able to see it. But when you do a build NPM run build, then you will see the chunks available and 
whenever you navigate from this route to this route, another home to home one to another home one, you will see Sadham network call is happening and you are loading a separate bundle. And whenever that network call is happening, this you can show some kind of a loading. Okay, this kind of loading is happening for now. And whenever that data is available, we will publish that particular route. Okay, so this lazy and suspense API is available natively now. You first of all, what you need to do, you need to lazily dynamically import them. So this is called dynamic import, and we are using lazy from the React APIs. We are getting that component, and then the routing you can wrap around a suspense. Okay, this is all about suspense and the lazy loading of routes. Okay, thanks everyone.